Hey everybody, it's Christopher again. Okay, to all my sewing friends out there, the never-ending uh, metallic thread testing. So today we're going to be doing this on a 2001 Brother ULT. And I believe this would have been the Elagio, I think, for Baby Lock at that time. Okay, yeah, I think it was an Elagio. So you, you um, vintage people like me, um, that can remember if you have the baby lock version just uh, you can comment below this and let me know okay so um, using the thread director the brand new thread director on here and here's the deal here's the finishing touch bobbin thread okay this is great to use for embroidery and for metallic threads I use this on every one of my brands of sewing machines absolutely love it top stitch needle size 14 okay and glitter thread by Superior this time. That's what I'm using up there. All right, so let's give this a shot. You're gonna watch my whole setup. See, I got a blank piece of paper, uh, paper, <laughs> blank fabric here. Let's go to my screen. And on my screen, isn't that something how skinny that screen is compared to how big the uh, Destiny and the Dream Machine is today? And the Elisimos and the Quattros. And, Okay, so let's go to, uh, we're going to select some satin stitch designs. And one thing about Baby Lock and Brother satin stitch, they're very limited. Unlike the Janomis, Janomis have really got some incredible satin stitches. So, and um, they really haven't changed through time here. They're really pretty much the same. I noticed a lot of the stitches on this uh, 2001 machine um, have been repeated over the years. And well, most brands they repeat them over the years, but nothing really has been added. So let's go to this this stitch. Then let's go down here. Uh, let's see. I want to decrease my stitch, my um, tension. I'll take this tension down to three. Okay. And the length, I'm going to bring this down to 0.3. Okay. Let's see what else do I want. Mm, we'll leave it just at that. So, and then my speed is up all the way. So let's see if this thing can handle it. You know, my speed was up all the way on my Janome 9000 that was made in, what, 1994, 1995? So this is a Brother 2001. Let's see if um, what happens with this with the full speed and the thread director. Okay, and you can see how much longer that uh, spool of thread is for the uh, superior thread compared to like the Sulky and the Madeira. All right, so let's give it a shot here and see. Okay, here we go. Oh, busted a needle. Oh, can you believe that happened? Okay, I can tell you why that happened. I did not have this tight enough, right? So let's see. Let's see. Let's let's start it again here now. I just put a brand new needle in. The other one was brand new too, but let's. But I have that tight now. Let's see what happened. Wasn't that comical? It broke another needle. Have you lost your ever-loving mind? That's what he said. My husband, the day I almost bought a sewing machine that wasn't a singer. Have you lost your ever-loving mind? You really mean you buy one of these sewing machines? An unknown, off-make, who ever heard of it, kind of a thing like this? But, Charlie, now look, of course I want a singer. Who doesn't? But we're trying to save them. These are so cheap, that's all. Cheap? Look, button nose, let me ask you something. What's cheap? Is it cheap if it doesn't stand up? If you maybe can't get part for it or repair or you have to get it fixed every two weeks? Is that cheap? Now, you want the best sewing machine in the world, right? And since I'm paying for it, I do too. The best value. So you get yourself down to that Singer Sewing Center tomorrow. Okay, guess what? Here's the culprit. I had the right bobbin in, but I was using this little white bobbin ring. Now, I've, who remembers what these look like? 
Now, right now, this little bobbin ring that they sell is a Teflon piece of roundness here. And you put that on the bottom of your bobbin case and it helps make your th um, bobbin glide easier. Anyway, this looks like those old stickers we used to put on our paper on the three ring binder so our notebook paper wouldn't rip out of the uh, three ring binder. If you're old enough, comment below. I'm sure many of you are, as I am. Okay, but I've been using that forever, never had a problem. So this is a fluke, okay, because I loaded it back up again and I started stitching again and it's fine. So let's give it another shot. Ready? I just took that little round Teflon notebook looking slippery, whatever they use it for, and I haven't had a problem. It's going. Okay, let's turn this. Let's do it again. No, oh, I don't like the, the sparseness of those stitches. Yeah, I don't like the sparseness of those stitches, so let's knock this down another, another uh, millimeter. Let's see what it does now. This is a superior thread I'm using. Superior blitz thread, that they call it? Wait, let's see if I find the name of it. Superior uh, glitter thread. Okay. Ah. And I'm sewing a duck clock. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention that also that also might have been a culprit, okay? On my uh, Alissimo, and it would be your brother, Destiny's Quattros, I would bypass this first entrance. I always bypass the first entrance. Well, I bypassed the first entrance on here, and this time I actually went through the whole feeding path. So by bypassing this, it might have been catching over here somewhere. So that could have been a culprit as well. Okay, this is how you troubleshoot everybody. You just don't give up and say that stupid thread because that's not the case. It's the operator's setup, oh. like me and like you. Every time you call something stupid out there or say my machine don't like this, it's because you don't know how to set it up and it's a mistake you're making, just like me. Now look at, I'm having flawless results. Okay, so you just learned something new. I hope you learned something new. I hope you learned something new through what I just taught you and the errors I just have. That density looks much better. Okay, so there we go. That's the thread director on a Brother ULT 2001, which I'm sure was the Elagio for uh, the, the Baby Lock version back then. And remember, you bypass the first entrance on the 2015 and, and the 20, what, what, when did the Elissimo come out? The Quattro. Anyway, I always bypass that first entrance, but not on this model. Put it through like a regular thread path. And do not use these little slippery things because it, it, it does lift the bobbin too high. I don't know. It did today. Okay. And then use finishing touch bobbin thread. Okay. And that's for embroidery and decorative stitching. All right. And um, do use a whole pack of new needles. You see, I wasted these because I had a wrong setup. It was my fault. Operator error. Now, normal people would say out there, which I heard for years, that stupid thread, the machine don't like that thread. Not the case. Operator era, it's not ah. stupid thread, it's stupid operator, uneducated. No, seriously, it's just not knowing what to look for or what to do. So my technical, we call troubleshooting today, I hope it helped you. So don't get frustrated when something like this happens to you. Just follow and look at everything. Look at everything and backtrack. This will help you, okay? All right, because these machines, I mean, look how old this machine is. It still works beautiful, just like all my other ones. All right, guys, take care. Next video, take care until then. Bye, love you, God bless.